Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you what I'm putting in my husband's stocking. And we had previously talked about not doing gifts, just doing stockings, but we now are doing gifts as well. Um, I don't have his gifts since we kind of just decided that, um, but he had wanted to get me a couple of things and I was like, all right, we can do the gifts. Anyways, thank you for being here and uh, let's see what we got. So some of these things, um, I just went out and picked up a few other things. At I'll just show you. How about that? Let me pull them out of the bag here. But I hope after we go through everything that I'm done, I don't think there's anything else I'm waiting on getting. So we will start with this base uh, layer pants. I think it's just the pants. Yeah, I don't think it's the shirt. I think it's just the pants. Yep. These are from Aldi and they were about $8, I think. And he's been wanting to, he does sometimes have to work outside. He owns his own plumbing company. Um, so sometimes there's job sites where he is outside. He doesn't do as much of the actual plumbing anymore. But um, anyways, these will be good for that. And then also um, he specifically has been wanting stuff so that he can go hunting more. He wants to get into hunting. And I figured that would work for that as well. Also from Aldi, he really needed a new belt. So I was excited to see this. Um, I didn't go there looking for a belt because I had no idea they would have it, but it is a reversible um, men's belt. I think this was also around $8, which in my opinion is a pretty good price for a nice, like, nice, decent looking belt. Um, I say nice, like it doesn't look like it's expensive, but you know, just this kind of standard belt. So I liked that. I also have this... Um, bath bomb and like pumice stone set he doesn't is this a bath a bath bar so he doesn't really take baths but he does like these pumice stones and i got this at target i think target on clearance last year so i've just kind of held on to it i might just take this out since they both are like individually wrapped in plastic i might just put that in there and then put this maybe in my stocking um i've not used a bath bar before is that the same as a bath bomb? Is it like you rub yourself with it? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Um, so I'll probably just put the pumice stone in there. All right. Then I, I, I don't know. I probably paid a dollar or less for that. I wouldn't have bought it probably on clearance if it wasn't less than that. Uh, the next thing I have is this um, back uh, loofah thingy, and this is from Dollar Tree. So I hadn't been there in a while and I don't think I'd seen these before. Um, so I thought he might like that. The next thing is kind of a funny thing. It's just a travel size of Gold Bond. And I, again, cause he's such a hard worker, sometimes he um, likes to put this in his shoes if they start to get a little sweaty or something. So I just kind of thought it was funny that I found a travel size version. I don't remember where I got that. If you saw my other videos of what is going in my kids' stockings, I also have some free um, stickers that I'm gonna put in my husband's. We like to put the stickers on his Yeti cup and his Yeti, um, one of our trash cans, and then his Yeti uh, cooler thing. I think, do we have stickers on there yet? It's kind of new, so I think we talked about doing that. Anyways, um, they are some, oops, some fishing stickers, which he likes to fish. So I thought that was appropriate. And these are Marshware um, brand stickers. So again, I got all those for free. Um, there's a lot of companies that you can just send an envelope, like a self-addressed envelope, and they'll send you some brand stickers, free marketing for them, and some fun stickers for us. All right, the next three things I showed in what my Dollar Tree haul, but just showing here as well. Um, this is some hot pepper jelly from Dollar Tree in their holiday section. So I don't think they keep it all the time. One of these Big Mama like spicy sausage sticks. He doesn't get those a lot, but I have seen him pick up those like when we've been on road trips. And then also next to the jelly was this um, jalapeno cheese. So I'll put that in his stocking. It's kind of like the Hillshire Farm type like things, but not that brand. Okay, and then I got um, also from Dollar Tree, just a two pack of these charcoal uh, toothbrushes. The next thing is in a little package. So I'm going to take it out. It's just some long um, uh, socks. 
So these are a Skechers brand, and I think at some point throughout the year, they were doing, like if you sign up for their email list, you got $5 um, to spend. And then I think if you're part of their email list, you got free shipping. I don't know. I, I paid like 10 cents for these or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but basically free pair of socks. So these are going to go in his stocking as well. He doesn't really need a ton of socks because otherwise I would get like more, but he actually has a lot of like thick winter socks. Um, and then I know he just bought a pair or a, a whole like package of the socks that he really likes. So he doesn't actually need any, but it's something that I normally would like put in a stocking. And then some other things that I would normally put in his stocking that I am just not this year are beard oil or a beard comb. Um, he just stocked up like we just don't need any more right now. And then he also loves like homemade soap and he doesn't really like using body wash. He prefers bar soap and he likes it to be like all natural, but he's recently got into Dr. Squash. So on Black Friday, they had um, a bunch of deals. So we kind of bought uh, him a gift set together. Like we both were there, like looking at the computer together and purchased that. Um, so that's something I would normally put in his stocking, but I didn't because we literally just got it. And um, there was one other thing I was thinking of. No, maybe that's it. Yeah, just like bath stuff. Consumables, I like to put things that are consumables. One other thing that I have that I don't know if I'm gonna put it in a stocking or leave it next to a stocking or wrap, but it is this um, BE 2.0, or B 2.0, um, and Beyond Entrepreneurship. So turning your business into an enduring great company. He has been uh, working really hard on transforming his company and um, growing it and um, like it, I'm just really proud of the progress he's made. So I saw this book. Uh, it was actually in a pile from my parents that they weren't they were giving away or donating or something. I was like, I'm gonna grab this and hold on to that. So I'll be giving him that. And he also recently, again, not necessarily something that he needs because he recently bought a couple books that were recommended by his business coach. But I thought he might like that one. So um, I'll give it to him. And if he wants to read it, great. If he doesn't, I'll just pass it along to somebody else because it was passed along to us. Um, I think that's it. I will, just like with the kids, I'll throw in some chocolate maybe. Uh, and if I happen to see anything between now and Christmas that is not super expensive that I think he'll really like, then I will get it. But I think that's a pretty, like, I'm looking at the pile and his stocking will be full. So mission accomplished. I hope this gives you some ideas. I personally have a hard time buying, um, stocking stuffers for guys. Sometimes, I guess it depends, but I kind of have a hard time with my husband because the stuff that he likes to buy is more on the gift side, like it's more expensive. And then all the like little stuff that he uses throughout the year, he buys himself. He doesn't like cologne. Um, he already has like plenty of beard oil, plenty of any like toiletry type items. He already has a bunch of that. Um, and uh, he is into grilling and hunting or he's getting into hunting, um, but there's not really, I don't know enough and he hasn't, he hasn't even started hunting. So it's something he wants to do, but I don't even know where to start with like what you would get someone as a stocking stuffer. I don't, I'm not really even sure. So if you have ideas for that, let me know. And for grilling, um, this year for his birthday, I already got him some new grilling, like glove things, heat resistant gloves. And, uh, again, I feel like he had already a lot, like, I know there's one accessory to his grill that he wants, but it's like $200. So it's definitely not a stocking stuffer. And if I do go to Lowe's, that is one place that I didn't look. If I do go to Lowe's or someplace like a tractor supply or, um, we have a rural king where I live, which is pretty legit. It's it's a cool store. So if I make it over there between now and Christmas, then I might get him a few other things, but I think this is pretty good for his stocking. And um, yeah, I got a couple other gifts to get. So maybe I'll show you once I'm done getting his gifts, uh, what I got him for Christmas. 
So anyways, I hope this gives you some ideas and thank you for watching and happy holidays, everyone.